Hi, in this video you get to understand the torsion formula in just about 5 minutes. Torsion is twisting due to a moment torque, e.g. in transmission shafts, and the torque is calculated by the force times the radius. A key assumption for deriving the torsion formula is axisymmetry, so the circular bar is axisymmetric, while the a rectangular bar is not. So consider a circular bar of length L and the uh, we track a strip here which is straight and after rotation transforms to point B1 and if you check at the side of the radius this strip moves to the red strip uh, creating an angle of twist theta at the center of the circle while the plane section moves from B to B B prime uh, creating an angle gamma so from trigonomic relationship tan gamma equals BB divided by L but for small angles tan gamma is almost the same as gamma and then BB is simply the length of an arc or a sector of a circle. Therefore, it is the radius of the circle times the angle theta. And then from a constitutive law, we can calculate the angle theta. Here, this angle theta can be calculated by constitutive law, which is the torque times the length divided by the shear modulus times the uh, J. J is the pop polar second moment of area. Uh, G is the shear modulus. J can be calculated for a hollow section. Uh, pi times R outer radius power 4 minus inner radius power 4 divided by 2 or for a solid section is simply pi R power 4 divided by 2. So the plane sections are able to remain plane because the uh, as a circular section is assumed to be consisting of several circular radius uh, radial discs, uh, the yellow, and they rotate uh, parallel or independent of each other. This is how the strips are able to be transferred from, for example, position B to B prime. Uh, without twisting, so as plane section. So this uh, goes to explaining the assumption that plane sections remain plane even after uh, uh, rotation. So the radial relationship is the stress uh, varies linearly with the radius, and a hollow section is considered a hollow circular section is considered uh, effective at carrying the shear stress since the regions near the center carry little shear stress so uh, if it is the the section near the the center are extruded out then a hollow circular section is an effective uh, section for carrying shear stress so this is the formula so the the stress at any point along the radius of the circle can be calculated by the torque times the radius divided by the polar second moment of area. So, combining all these uh, formula, uh, the formula for theta from the uh, 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 trigonomic relationship and also the formula for theta based on constitutive law, also the formula for shear stress, uh, we come up with the what is famously known as the torsion formula which is T over J equals the shear stress divided by R which equals the the shear modulus times theta divided by L hence the famously known torsion uh, formula. There you go, uh, an explanation for the torsion formula in under 5 minutes. If you like this video, please hit the notification bell, a like, share, and subscribe. I will see you for my next video. Thank you and goodbye.